Have you ever seen candy made right in front of your eyes? Well, you can if you visit Papa Bubble. Fiona Ryan and Chris Grassi bring artistic flair to their handmade hard candies, all made right in their downtown New York candy store. This little shop sells big flavor, and it's just the latest Papa Bubble. There are also shops in Barcelona, Amsterdam, Seoul, and Tokyo. It's a small franchise, and the owners are all friends. They're spreading an artsy kind of sweetness throughout the world, one city at a time. The candy making starts with sugar, seven pounds of it, and one quart of water. These are boiled with flavored oil and glucose, a plant sugar which helps the mixture crystallize. Once it has reached 320 degrees Fahrenheit, the candy is poured onto a cooling table, where food coloring paste is added. After we've poured it on the table, it hardens pretty quickly and makes it nice and cuttable. It is then moved to a table that's heated to 225 degrees, just the right temperature to keep the candy soft enough to shape it and twist it and turn it. By rolling different colored candy together into shapes like this heart, and then stretching it out, letting it cool, and then cutting it into small pieces, Chris and Fiona create beautiful little candies with the design inside. They not only make hearts this way, but they enclose words and other designs into their candy as well. I couldn't wait to take a break and make some candy with Fiona and Chris. I'm needing not bread, but candy. We're yeah. going to make uh, Valentine's lollipops out of this gorgeous candy. So you want uh, one quarter of this yeah. snipped with the candy shears. Set aside, and that's going to be the wrap for oh, the candy. Oh, we have to just set that aside. This is flavored with passion fruit, the favorite flavor of this shop. I'll get out of your way and she'll it? show you. Yes. Keep, I keep it long. Keep the snake long. What are you doing, Chris? Same oh, I see thing. what you're doing. Well, I'm working on this hook. So we're going to grab both ends yeah. and then bring them together and then grab it here again. Dividing it in half. Dividing it in half and then okay. flip it in half again. Look at this. What fun. <gasps> yours turned white. Yep. That turned that just after a very short time. Yeah, the hook basically speeds up the process. Oh, I see. So you should have hooks everywhere. Yeah. When it's overstretched, it becomes really thready. You're pretty close right now. What you want to do next is basically form it into a log. OK, so a log satisfied. like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. And should that be rolled or not? Um, it can just stay like that. OK, stay like that. And then we're going to make a sh flat sheet out of this. Look at that color. <gasps> Baby pink. The more thin you are, the lighter the color is, okay. which we really like our colors light. I'm going to encase. Mm -hmm. You can just oh. hold it right up. Why are you doing that? Instead of it having that opaque, almost satin yeah. uh, texture, it's going to end up looking really, really shiny. I think we should just put them together and pull them, pull them a couple times. Okay. No? We just wet it a little bit so that they stick. And then Chris is going to put the white up there. So the next thing we do is stretch it. So, so a, a little of, bit of a tug a of war. A lot of elbow grease. Yes. Oh, nice. boy. <gasps> All right. Look. Cut it into maybe four. Maybe we could do four, four. Yeah, cut it into four. So if you want to cut your half in half. And now the four pieces are going to be put together, to forming a big oh, okay. sheet. It's yes. all together. So we turn it over? Turn so it let's over, flip exactly. it over, get it a little bit wet. It's funny, when you get it even a little damp, it smells it's like passion fruit. <laughs> the excess candy goes right in the middle, and it's all wrapped up into one big log. We want to get it down to a diameter about this big. So okay. if you grab this part, you hold it up in the air for just a couple seconds. Okay. It'll stretch naturally. We're going to cut that knob off at the top there. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it back in here. Oh, you're just stuffing it in? Yeah. Just oh. stuff it right back in. I'm going to twist it, hopefully, so that it gets to be about the same diameter. Start to coil it. Let's, Make a do, big... it, let's do it right here for the first one. So okay. cut it at an angle right there. So basically what you want to do next is put it in this mold. Okay. Before you flatten it out too much with the cut part oh, kind of right facing there? the bottom. Oh, okay. Now, you want to make sure that you shove the stick in, but in the middle so it doesn't, it doesn't show out the top or bottom. So then you're going to want to bring it over here. And dump it out. Turn it over and dump it out. Perfect. Ooh, fun. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this is so beautiful. Can you see how spirally it is? And, and perfect. So how often do you invent something new here? I think maybe 
once a month we come up with a new flavor. We're oh, constantly doing new, doing new candies. Customers come in and ask us to make sculptures or custom candies. <gasps> so That's so beautiful. Perfect. Oh wow, what what a, what a lollipop. We could run some through the machine if okay. you wanted. Oh, let's do that. I want to okay. see that machine. Okay. So we works. make these little pillow candies too. This is actually the only machine that we use in the shop. We feed it through and it perforates the candy. Oh, look. Oh! And once this cools down, they break it's going to break apart. I can give you, oh my gosh. I'm going to give you more. another one. Oh, we have wow, very, look you're even twisting it as it goes in. It's a good I technique. love it twisted. I want to see how that breaks up. So basically, oh. once it's cool, you oh, can just do this. You oh. can just pick it up and drop it. What fun. Oh, my gosh. And you can be a little rough with it, too. Well, thank you so much, Fiona. Thank you, Chris. I haven't had so much fun in a long time. Can I come back and learn some more techniques? Of course. Oh, gosh. And can I have a taste of it? Yes. I was just going to offer you passion one. fruit hard candy. Yes. <gasps> so Delicious. superb. Oh, boy. It just is amazing.